All right, so this next team uh, wanted to do something in machine learning. They're very excited about it, which as an instructor is terrifying because the whole thing about machine learning is that your robot might just be kind of dense and not learn, which means that at the end of it, you're presenting all of the things you tried to get your robot to learn, but it didn't. Um, so we encouraged them to definitely explore machine learning and also um, have an app that could function without it. And they ended up doing all of it. So their project um, has an experimental machine learning component and also this, um, this component that uses sort of more tried and true machine learning APIs in order to give people a new experience of art. This is Artifact. Thank you for that introduction. Hi, my name is Elliot, and these are my partners, Rahman, Matt, and Rob, and we're the developers of Artifact. So traditionally, museums have offered a more singular perspective when it comes to interpreting their work. However, there's a growing trend in this community. People are looking for a more open dialogue where they can discuss their personal experiences with art. So with our app, Artifact, users can now join in on the conversation going on at the museum. The experience begins when you first walk into the museum and open our app. From there, you are prompted to take a picture of a, of a plaque associated with the piece you are interested in. From there, you will finally be brought to a forum where you can share your personal experiences and thoughts about the piece. Now I'll pass the mic to Roman to talk about what happens when the app first loads. Thank you. On React Native, we can use the uh, we can use the authorization flow we were accustomed to using. However, we managed to use uh, an Expo component to get Facebook access tokens, and then once we sent that to the back end to be verified, we generated a UUID to send to the client. This was stored and then used as a shared secret and set as a header for future requests. After, the, after logging in, the first thing Artifact does is determine the museum that the user is currently at. We do this by calculating the distance between each museum and the current location of the user. We then show a page of the museum with the most active pieces on it. These pieces are ordered by the aggregation of upvotes of each comment and their replies. Knowing the museum is also useful for narrowing the search base for the recognition algorithm. This narrows it down to one museum's collection, a few thousand pieces at most. And now Matt will talk to you about that identification process. To identify a work of art, we use the Google Vision Optical Character Recognition API to extract text from a given plaque. At first, we uploaded the full image data to our server before forwarding it to Google, but that was too slow. To speed up the request, we needed to implement streaming HTTP requests and responses, immediately streaming the data onto Google as soon as it's received on our server. We couldn't get the latency to zero, so we knew we wanted an engaging loading screen to pass the time. We used React Native animations to cross-fade through works of art building a reusable loading screen component that can cycle through a given array of images. Another challenge we faced is that there can be multiple works of art for any plaque. To address this issue, we wrote our own scoring algorithm that could select matched works based on piece title, artist name, and year of the piece. After a piece is identified, the user is taken to a forum where they can discuss the work. Rob will tell you more about that. One challenging aspect of our forum was rendering nested posts with parent-child relationships. We took advantage of React's recursive abilities with having a component that renders all top-level posts while calling itself repeatedly to render the next layers. In the forum, users can favorite works of art, and they can view all their favorited works in the user page. In the user page, they can also view recommended works generated by our graph-based recommendation engine. We also have a beta feature that allows users to take a selfie and style it as a work of art. We use Engstrom's fast style transfer algorithm to achieve this with a node child process that interfaces with his Python script. This is Artifact. Uh, to use our app, download Expo and search for Artifact on the App Store. We currently support the Whitney, so keep us in mind the next time you're there. We learned a lot about this. <laughs> we learned a lot um, doing this program, and we would never have done it without our fabulous instructors and fellows, so thanks for listening. All right, to vote for Artifact, like the post, like the pinned comment. I, I, I really like that. I think it's very cool. The, um, 
it's, it's what I've always wanted to not feel like an idiot when I'm walking around a museum and actually be able to have a conversation about pieces that are moving to me and to, to have that um, and you know to not maybe also some cheap to not pay like that six ninety five to rent that audio tour guide thing so to have it in your phone and app I, I think someone needs to do it I'm surprised museums haven't picked up on that that people want to engage with the art and understand what's going on not just appreciate it or read some like long you know thing written by an art historian so very cool. I hope that they actually spend time getting that deployed. Yeah, I, I think. Some, sorry, I, I was just saying this. Sometimes there's actually not enough information about, like, if you really like something, um, like it's too short or there's not enough context. You know, art is all about the story, right? And so yeah. even more than the actual thing. And so um, I think that's very important. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, and they put in the legwork on that one. Like when they say at the end that they support the Whitney, they went to the Whitney and took photos of like 200 placards in order to like get all the art pieces in the database. Wow, I wonder how many times they got kicked out of the Whitney um, while doing this. 